Hello, and welcome to today's session on bullying. Over recent years, bullying has been discussed quite a bit, whether it's face-to-face bullying or online. In this session, we will look at what bullying is, how it can lead to both physical and psychological problems, and what we can do in an educational environment to help decrease bullying itself. What exactly is bullying? Bullying involves displaying antisocial behavior, whereby another person is hurt or made to feel uncomfortable. This is generally a deliberate act repeated over and over again. The perpetrator, the bully, can use various forms to target his victim, the person being bullied. This can be done verbally, through mean and foul language, physically, by hitting and kicking, and even online, through the internet and through the use of digital technologies, otherwise known as cyberbullying. This harassment is not a passing phase, rather something that can be long-lasting and result in cognitive and emotional difficulties for the victim. Let me give you some examples. Direct forms of bullying might be through name-calling, pushing and shoving, excluding a child from a game, spreading rumours about him or her, and even manipulating others to ignore the child and exclude him or her as a friend in their peer group. Another form of bullying is cyberbullying. Advances in mobile technology and social networking sites have meant that cyberbullying is now on the rise and is becoming an ever-increasing concern for both children and parents. Signs of bullying. Here are some signs that a child is being bullied. He or she does not want to go to school. Finds excuses for not going to school. For example, feeling sick or being sick. Wants to go to a school in a different way. For example, changing the route or being driven instead of catching a bus. Is very tense, tearful and unhappy before or after school. Talks about hating school or other children. Has bruises or scratches. Tends to perform poorly academically or even withdraws from school. Impact of bullying. The victims are at a greater risk for mental health issues such as loneliness, depression, anxiety, low self-esteem, loss of appetite, lack of or disrupted sleep, possibility of substance abuse, and suicidal thoughts. Bullied children have reported all kinds of psychosomatic symptoms, ranging from headaches, stomach aches, and not being able to deal with simple colds and viruses. Causes and preventions. The eventuality of bullying can be influenced by a series of circumstances, such as self, family, friends, school and community. To prevent bullying from occurring, several countries have set up programs in schools to provide training for parents, children and teachers. Programs which intend to mitigate the occurrence of bullying. Apart from online resources available at www.apa.org, and the Department of Health and Human Service government website in the United States, www.stopbullying.gov, which publish articles, books and guides for both parents and teachers. There are also prevention programs which have been established in order to raise awareness and curb the practice of bullying. For instance, the Mountain Academy of Evergreen in the US has implemented a program, Random Acts of Kindness, also known as RAC, to create a culture of care within the school and to make students, parents and teachers aware of the need of rippling kindness and values within the school and its community. Students from an early age are taught to become upstanders rather than bystanders, encouraged to focus on being confident, helped to question and reflect on their own behaviour help to let go of their anxieties, fear of making mistakes and being ridiculed, motivated to be kind to themselves and show empathy and compassion towards their peers. 
As a result, they have been able to progress academically and avoid truancy, mainly because they now feel that school is a safe place. Being rewarded with kindness has impacted their lives hugely and reduced the number of behavioural referrals taking place at the school. The following are some tips for students who are being bullied in schools. Encourage those who are being bullied to walk away. To try to act unimpressed or unaffected. To use other strategies to diffuse the situation like agreeing in an offhand way with the bully when they say offensive or negative things, also known as fogging. To say no firmly. To talk to the teacher or other staff, like the school guidance officer. Do not advise your child to fight with the other child, as distinct from defending themselves from a physical attack. This can escalate the situation and your child may be observed and reprimanded for their part in a fight. In today's session, we looked at what bullying is, how it can lead to both physical and psychological problems, and what we can do in an educational environment to help decrease bullying itself. If you would like to explore more on any of the topics discussed, click on the links provided at the end of this unit. As always, remember to observe what is happening in your classes and be a reflective practitioner.